Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. In today's video you'll see us strip the roof mainly because we had extortioners costs come back in and we find some interesting stuff within the attic void. If you guys are thinking about doing your own roof then watch this video because it's a bit easier than you actually think. Taking shots at the enemy I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy If I got something to say, you better let me speak Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything I pop off with the new rock Electronic, blow the sonic roof up I'm too honest when I take a few shots They're too toxic, need to take the new song And you cannot save me Cause I don't need saving It's everything I've been chasing all here for the taking Don't wanna test your luck with me I think I've had enough disease I'm sick of all the bad thoughts People who won't have guns You are not as tough as <laughs> Alright guys, so we're about an hour in, uh, we just stopped for a light breakfast snack and um, as you can see, stripped off over half of it um, and to be fair, Natasha's been taking all the tiles around, dumping them around the front while I've been stripping them off, which has been keeping everything moving nice and flowing so... You mean slow, I'm being very slow Yeah, not slow, <laughs> but we keep keeping a steady pace, not overworking ourselves Did have a little drizzle, but as we start taking the tiles off, but it is what it is As soon as we get these off, the batten's off, I can put my first batten in through and then work out my spaces for a 75mm or slightly more overlap of each tile. Once we've done that, start banging them up through and then we will be good to go. So although this looks like a bit of a mess by here, you should have seen it earlier when we first started stripping off. It's actually been bringing the muck round. And this is our stockpile of muck. All that's the earth and hardcore come from the outside of the house and the back of the house. There's a load of bricks under there from the chimney we've taken down, you've probably seen one of the videos. And then all the uh, tiles are going on top. Those are new tiles. So hopefully today I can start putting on new tiles from the bottom and just keep a couple of rows in from the end. Um, so at least then I can start my cuts at a later date. But yeah, really proud of what we're doing so far. And there you can see our door into our attic room. It's lovely. Right guys, so a couple of things since our the last couple of videos. One, we did get the rubber on, um, but at the moment we still can't upload the video because we've lost the footage on hard drive, it's broken. So we're trying to get that sorted, so at least then we can show like a flashback of how we did the rubber. So yeah, if you if you think there's been a few weeks of us not editing, it's because yeah, we've lost all the footage. <laughs> um, and then also maybe our last video you might have seen, or if you haven't, we took the chimney stack down. That was an interesting video because uh, we were going to render it, but we had some feedback, so we've taken it down. So go check that out. Um, but yeah, if you're liking this content, guys, uh, give us a like, comment down below what you're enjoying, and also don't forget to subscribe because it really does help us out. Right guys, so I seen this bag in the corner just as I was taking the tiles out. I thought, oh, it looks like an old golf bag. Probably nothing in it. It is. A set of clubs in there, balls in there. Let's have a look what we're working with. <laughs> this looks very old, probably like 50s, maybe, I don't know. Maybe a bit earlier. My dad loves golfing. Maybe we should give it to him right, as so a golf got... present. A Maxwell pattern, warranted land forge. Forged in Sheffield, but these are some very old. Oh, oh wow! Shaft. These are some very old clubs. So, 
I'll keep hold of these and uh, we'll have a look at them another time. Right guys, so Natasha's doing a bit as usual. As you can see, that's all the raft designs. And they've gone through more than a third of that timber, which is not the best, but at the end of the day, sat on a massive wall plate, loads of coverage. It's been here for almost a hundred years, so not going anywhere. But as we said before, there are two chimneys, they're 45 degrees, one's in the kitchen and one's in the front bedroom, which will be coming out. But looking at this now, it's not the best patch up job. They've changed uh, two rafters into one bit of, I don't know what that is, that's sagging like hell. All this is just dodgy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear all this out now, take this section out. And then as you can see up there, we've got um, a purling hole in the timber. So that's not gonna go anywhere really. And I'm just gonna string a line through, put some new timbers in, splice them in over the end. And uh, that should hold it all in place. Lovely stuff. Right guys, so this is what we're working with at the moment. If you look down the side of it, it's not the best, it's not, but it's not the worst. In and out, up and down, all over the place. Realistically, I want to try and get this straight through. Um, so what I might end up doing is working out where the first baton goes on here, and then going back and working our way back that way. Because um, I haven't left much on the end of these timbers any sort of fascia on so I'm gonna have to cleat these out put like gussets on them so we can fix a fascia and soft it too so yeah you're gonna mess around with this bit of roof here make the sure that's structurally sound and then go from there So, what are you up to? Right, so, the old chimney had been knocked down and they put some sort of crappy bit of timber in so I re put in the wall plates to a solid I'm going to now run two new rafters up alongside of these and screw them in Got my bird's mouth cut on one but they've only gone past the one third so we've gone like 40 mil there which is not great, but it'll do Okay guys, that's how it should have been done. Carried the wall plate through, noggins up, sat on the uh, old purlins, and I can screw that all the way through. I'll be solid as rock, won't go anywhere. But as you can see, the old purlins where they just put this wood through has sagged a couple of inches, well, an inch by there, 10 mil over there. But as I threw, my new timbers are pretty much level with the rest. So we blast that in now, screw all in, get it fixed into the wall plate. And then I'm not too worried about the ends. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna string a line through all the way to get my first batten parallel to the wall and then we'll start felting and battening up and then once we've done that I can come back down sort my uh, felt trays and then I can look at doing the uh, timber oh god sorry about that guys all sort of just blew in my face uh, I can start sorting the timber gussets and try and get all this fairly straight it doesn't have to be perfect but uh, the better it is the easier it is to work on with my softening fascia so that's the plan we're getting this slowly and as I said before, I think the plan for this section here is to build up the wall from here straight up. So then the, the hip sort of hits the new parapet wall um, or something like that. Not 100% sure yet, but we'll get there eventually. All right, guys, so I've managed to pull the timbers up as best I can. That one's about five to 10 mil. That one's flush all the way through. Nice and screwed in. Uh, so that's it. That is the roof ready to start going back, Felton. We're just cleaning up the 
nails on the end, uh, get that one last timber on the end screwed in because it came out. in the mirror so foggy but i've never seen clearer i don't really think anyone can save me and honestly i'm not really sure i want saving i like to be my own worst enemy there's no risk if you don't try it anything so i'ma just get by and everything see you in the next life have to be a better me i don't think that my head's on straight gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray what's wrong with me i just feel way pushing on my chest and it's squeeze till i suffocate better change my mindset meditate it's pretty cool that i'm alive and have better days i could walk see here i should celebrate think i could change my mind maybe yeah Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days. Yeah, all I need are some better days. Right, guys, so what we've done here is we've overlapped our felt plenty of overhang so I can cut it back to where it needs to be because we're going to have um, plastic uh, under felt trays for the gutter, which will support the ends of these and out, stop them just hanging in the gutter and rotting. So from the first tile you're meant to have about two inches overhang from the fascia into the gutter so I've just worked out how thick my uh, fascia board is going to be with the ply behind it and then I've allowed for 50 mil now here overhanging into the gutter so that sets up my first pattern um, all I've done is done that either end of the roof and then strung a string line through to make sure those battens are dead straight so when these overhang on the end we're a nice straight line and then from there, I've measured from this pattern all the way up to the bridge. I've allowed about 30 mil just to the tops of the tile to overhook the top pattern. And then divided that by the overhang. Well, I'm saying that, I forgot to say. These tiles are meant to have a 75 mil overhang, which I've marked here. I've then spaced it off a pattern, done it like so, worked out the overhang, <laughs> which is there. Like, well, you can just see there which is 340 mil from the top of that pattern to the top of this pattern. So I've got my measurement from here to the top divided by 340 mil and it's worked out at 11.001 tiles, which I've worked it back is about one mil tile. So at the top, we'll have a tile a mil out, so perfect. 11 tiles all the way up. Um, so all I've done now is mark the spaces in between, create these noggins. So I can just sit on top of here, we fly our battens through, felt batten, felt batten, felt batten. I'm just going to double check now before we put these battens in. We've got 150 mil overhang. Yeah, we've got 170 mil, so we can put our next batten in, drop the felt on top of the batten, and keep working our way up like that. Okay guys, so I actually did a calculation, ordered up all the tiles from Travis Perkins. Um, these are Causeway by... Uh, and they called Mar Marley Modern Moderns? No, they're not. They are. Oh, no. <laughs> These are North Stone Causeway Smooths. Um, we got them in the black. I like how they look for the finish. They're very thin for a tile, I think. And they look almost like slates. So we got all the materials, felt, batten, uh, under trays, dry bridges, dry uh, verge, uh, dry hips and all, everything we need. Um, we spent £3,600 on all materials for the roof. Um, scaffoldings cost us about 1200 quid, including the chimney lift. Um, but the two quotes we had for this roof, which were extortionate, I think. So the most expensive one we had was £23,000, including VAT, just for the tiled roof. And I want to thank like six or seven grand for the rubber roof which I've done myself also. Um, so we've got this for 3,600. The other company, which was like 12 and a half thousand pounds plus VAT, that's still again, a lot of money. So we've ripped this off in the morning, just two of us, and we're gonna have most of the felt and everything back on with a few tiles on in one day. So you can see how quick things can go, especially if you've got a gang of guys. But yeah, obviously people need to make money, but I think those uh, costs were ridiculous. So we're just gonna make our way through all the Batman felt now and then hopefully we start checking some tiles on. Right guys, so we just want to make sure our timbers are 50-50 overhang, so all I'm doing is marking the center, which is there, put on the front of the throw, and then just quickly ripping the saw through. And that'll give us our 50 mil, uh, not 50 mil, our 50-50 overhang. 
we're gonna put the space bar. Put the space uh, like so. Up and down in there. Lovely stuff. guys so we've been on this for about five five and a half hours now we've stripped off made good the roof screwed everything in tight felt and batten now i got one more sheet of felt three more bits of batten at the top and then my mate and is going to come around and we're going to start loading up roof tiles up we're going to start getting the tiles on just sort of like just get them out of the way get it looking tidy but yeah quite happy how we got going today but uh it is quite a tiring job walking up and down there all the time and uh, it's crouching down. It's back breaking work, but I'm glad we've done it. Nice dry day, thankfully. It's meant to rain in a few hours, so we get this finished, get it watertight, and we'll call it a day. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. Every single day I'll be making moves Till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain You'll never hear me bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Anything you want Anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient It's belief uh, Better see with the negativity But I just slide right by that Low, you can still go Even when you feel slow You can still go Even when there's no hope You can still go I never answered a no Man, I still go Go, 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 go Some batter in your brain uh, That's why they say Fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game Then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst thoughts saying Turn them to a game Take the best thoughts saying Put them on display On repeat in your brain Till you're feeling no more pain uh, Never slow yourself down You can do some more Push past start a pain And you'll find a door Open it up And finally explore Everything that you thought You could never do before uh, And even when you feel low Slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no, man, I still go Go, go Guys, so this is where we got to today. We're gonna to call it a day now, uh, just have a bit of a clear up. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I've made it watertight enough. We don't get any major leaks. But yeah, quite chuffed. It's looking pretty good, especially when it has a bit of rain and gets all these grey dust marks off. It'll look great. 